Argentina finds itself at a critical juncture. The nation is grappling with a severe financial crisis marked by dwindling foreign reserves and a pressing need for liquidity. To navigate these turbulent waters, Argentina is seeking a $2.7 billion lifeline. This sum represents more than just a financial injection. It symbolizes a crucial step towards stabilizing the Argentine economy. The outcome of these negotiations will have far-reaching consequences, not only for Argentina, but also for the global financial landscape. The international community is closely watching as Argentina attempts to secure this critical funding. The success or failure of these negotiations will send ripples through emerging markets, impacting investor confidence and potentially influencing future lending practices. This situation underscores the interconnectedness of the global financial system, where the fate of one nation can reverberate far beyond its borders. Argentina's need for $2.7 billion is immediate and multifaceted. The urgency stems from a combination of economic pressures and natural disasters that have left the country in a precarious financial state. The country is facing a severe shortage of foreign currency reserves, a situation exacerbated by factors like drought and economic mismanagement. The drought has devastated agricultural output, one of Argentina's key export sectors, further straining the economy. These dwindling reserves limit Argentina's ability to meet its international debt obligations and pay for essential imports. The lack of foreign currency means that importing goods, from food to medical supplies, becomes increasingly difficult and expensive. Without a substantial influx of funds, Argentina risks defaulting on its debts, a scenario with potentially catastrophic consequences for its economy. A default would not only affect the government's ability to function, but also have a ripple effect on businesses and citizens. A default would severely damage Argentina's creditworthiness, making it incredibly difficult and expensive to borrow money in the future. This loss of trust from international lenders would isolate Argentina from global financial markets. This would further hinder the country's ability to finance critical public services and invest in much-needed infrastructure projects. Schools, hospitals, and transportation networks would suffer, impacting the daily lives of millions of Argentinians. Moreover, a default could trigger capital flight as investors lose confidence in the Argentine economy and pull out their investments. This would lead to a sharp decline in the stock market and further devaluation of the national currency. This vicious cycle would exacerbate the existing economic crisis and push Argentina further into a spiral of debt and instability. The social impact would be profound, leading to increased unemployment, poverty and social unrest. In this high-stakes financial drama, two global banking giants, Banco Santander and JP Morgan, have emerged as key players. These institutions are not just ordinary banks. They are financial powerhouses with a significant influence on the global economy. These institutions are acting as intermediaries in Argentina's quest to secure the $2.7 billion lifeline. Their involvement is crucial, as they bring a wealth of experience and expertise to the table. They are responsible for facilitating the complex negotiations between Argentina and potential lenders. This involves not only arranging meetings, but also ensuring that all parties are on the same page regarding the terms and conditions. Their role extends beyond simply connecting borrowers and lenders. They are also tasked with structuring the terms of the loan agreement, ensuring its feasibility and attractiveness to both parties. This requires a deep understanding of both the financial markets and the specific needs of Argentina. The involvement of these prominent financial institutions underscores the seriousness of Argentina's situation. It highlights the urgency and the high stakes involved in securing this funding. And the importance of securing this funding. Without it, Argentina faces significant economic challenges that could have far-reaching consequences.
Their participation lends credibility to the negotiations and signals to potential lenders that Argentina is committed to finding a sustainable solution to its financial woes. This credibility is essential in gaining the trust of potential lenders. However, the involvement of such powerful institutions also raises concerns about the potential influence they may exert on the terms of the loan agreement. There is a delicate balance to be maintained to ensure that Argentina's interests are protected and the implications for Argentina's long-term economic sovereignty. The outcome of these negotiations will have a lasting impact on the country's financial future, making the role of these key players all the more critical. Section 4. Debt Repurchase Agreements A Closer Look a key aspect of Argentina's strategy to secure the $2.7 billion involves debt repurchase agreements, often referred to as repos. These financial instruments are crucial in the short-term financial planning of many governments. In essence, a repo is a short-term loan backed by collateral, typically government bonds. This means that the borrower, in this case the government, provides bonds as security for the loan. In Argentina's case, the government would sell bonds to investors with an agreement to buy them back at a slightly higher price. This higher price includes the interest on the loan, on a specified future date. This date is usually set within a short period, often just a few days or weeks. This mechanism allows Argentina to quickly raise capital, providing much-needed liquidity to the economy by leveraging its existing assets. Essentially, it is a way to temporarily convert bonds into cash. While repos can provide a quick injection of liquidity, helping to stabilize the financial system in the short term, they also come with risks. The primary risk is the government's ability to repurchase the bonds. If Argentina is unable to buy back the bonds at the agreed upon price on the maturity date, the investors have the right to sell those bonds in the open market. This could lead to a significant financial loss for the government. This could lead to a decrease in the value of Argentine bonds, further damaging investor confidence. A loss of confidence can have a ripple effect throughout the economy and potentially making it even more difficult for Argentina to access financing in the future. This scenario could exacerbate the financial crisis leading to more severe economic consequences. The reliance on repos highlights the precarious nature of Argentina's financial situation. It underscores the challenges the country faces in managing its debt and securing necessary funds, and the limited options available to address its immediate needs. This situation calls for careful financial planning and strategic decision-making to navigate the complexities of the global financial market. Section 5 economic impacts and uncertain futures. The potential impact of these negotiations on Argentina's economy is significant and multifaceted. Securing the $2.7 billion could provide much needed breathing room, allowing the government to stabilize the currency, address immediate debt obligations, and potentially restore some investor confidence. This, in turn, could pave the way for broader economic reforms and a more sustainable path to recovery. However, the situation remains precarious. Even if successful, this loan represents a short-term solution to a much deeper structural problem. Argentina needs to address underlying issues such as high inflation, chronic budget deficits, and a lack of competitiveness in its export sector. Failure to address these fundamental challenges will likely lead to a repeat of the current crisis in the future. The coming months and years will be crucial for Argentina as it navigates this complex economic landscape. Section 6. A Global Perspective on Financial Aid Argentina's situation raises broader questions about the role of international financial aid 
and the responsibilities of both lending and borrowing nations. Some argue that international financial institutions have a moral obligation to assist countries facing economic hardship, particularly when those hardships are exacerbated by external factors beyond their control. Others contend that providing financial assistance without addressing underlying structural issues can create a moral hazard, encouraging irresponsible fiscal behavior and delaying necessary reforms. The debate surrounding international financial aid is complex and often politically charged. There is no easy answer, and each situation requires careful consideration of the specific circumstances and potential consequences. However, one thing is clear. Open dialogue, transparency, and a commitment to finding sustainable solutions are essential for navigating these challenging situations. Section 7. Conclusion. Navigating the Debt Labyrinth. Argentina's pursuit of a $2.7 billion lifeline underscores the fragility of the global financial system and the precarious position of many emerging markets. The outcome of these negotiations will have far-reaching consequences, shaping not only Argentina's economic future, but also influencing investor sentiment and lending practices on a global scale. As Argentina navigates this complex debt labyrinth, the world is watching closely, eager to understand the implications for the future of international